everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me, if you do and you're back, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you back. Today is trying on fancy dresses day. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying on nine affordable dresses from Lulu, formal dresses for under $100. I'm like a keyword soup right now. I have no idea what to call this video, but we have a wedding coming up in about a month. It's actually Grant's brother's wedding, so I feel like I should probably put some thought into what I'm wearing and like, I don't know, shop ahead of time and not get a dress the day of, like I've been known to do. So I started shopping for this a while back and I posted some pictures on Instagram and it seemed like you guys liked getting involved in the shopping process and telling me what your favorites were. And I didn't actually get a dress that day, but while I was shopping at Nordstrom, I noticed that they were carrying dresses from Lulu's. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you might remember, I did a video where I tried on a ton of affordable wedding dresses from Lulu's. I think it was like under $150. All of these dresses are under $100. Uh, but that was a really fun video to make. I feel like trying on affordable wedding dresses, that's like the content I was made to create. It was so much fun making those videos, but I feel like it would be really awkward for me to make those videos now. So I haven't, I've been tempted, but I haven't. But today we are doing wedding guest formal outfits and you can let me know what your favorites are all of them are under a hundred dollars most of them are way under a hundred dollars some of them are crazy i definitely tried to get out of my comfort zone as far as colors it's a lot of different fall colors i wouldn't typically choose but they're cool and they're pretty and best of all they are affordable so we're going to try them all on there are nine dresses total i don't know why i got nine it was way too many let's try on the dresses let me know what you think in the comments definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed I would really appreciate it. You can also find me on social media. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. All of those things. Okay, let's go. Here we are. First dress, dress number one. And of course, they've started to do construction behind my house. I don't know how this always happens to me, but we're just going to play on through. I've got my little cheat sheet over here, which printed in black and white. Very helpful. But this one is called the Power of Wow Royal Blue Backless Maxi Dress. I don't know why they chose to call it backless because this one definitely has a back, but the color for this one is obviously wonderful, royal blue. I really like that. I normally don't go for royal blue, so it's a different look, it's a different feel for me, but I like it. I don't know, what do you think? Does this color work for me? Let me show you the back that is not backless. I couldn't zip it up all the way. <laughs> So I only have it zipped to here, but I do feel confident that it would still fit if I had it zipped up all the way. I do really like a high neck, high back, but it's still got some like interesting cutouts and stuff back here. I feel like it's really cute. It's fitted, but it's kind of still fancy. <laughs> Are you feeling fancy? Okay, I forgot to say, this dress was $100. So this was the most expensive dress that I got in this order. And I still feel like $100 for a formal dress, like you're doing pretty good. And it's only, I don't want to say downhill, but um, less and less expensive from here. That's a nice way to put it. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the length. I'm 5'11", so most people probably wouldn't have a problem with it when I do. So that's something I have to look out for. I do have shoes right here. I should probably put some on. Okay, I'll try these first because they're the lowest heels that I brought out. Ugh. Can you see that? I feel good in this dress. I feel cute in this dress. I can move in this dress, but the length, like we don't even need to talk about it anymore. Like goodbye. Nice knowing you. I really hope this is not a sign of what's to come, but I'm bracing myself. Okay. Dress number two, the Mariah Emerald Green something something, I don't know. We've got problems. There's a little snap right here. I snap it, it unsnaps immediately. The last dress was an extra small. I feel like that one fit great. This one's an extra small, doesn't fit great. And it's always kind of a juggling act. I mean, I'm sure you go through the exact same thing. You never go into every single store and get the exact same size. So I would definitely size up to a small. Okay, so if we could just look past this little sizing hiccup, which is probably a user error anyway, and just assume this dress fits well, I think it is really, really, really pretty. Obviously it's something completely different than the last dress. It's not super fitted. It's not super booty-licious or backless. It's really feminine and I love the color. It's like an emerald green, which I don't think I've ever had an emerald green formal dress. In my mind, I look at this and I'm like, this is royal green. Like it's so rich, it's so pretty. It has kind of a satiny, 
almost shiny finish and it's a wrap dress. I don't know. I'm definitely on the edge of thinking this one is like a little bit too short. It's got kind of like a high-low situation and I don't know if I would wear these heels with it, but these heels really aren't super high anyway and ooh, you could have a little leg moment. You're not trying to have a leg moment, but it could happen. You never know. I don't know. This dress is really, really pretty. I think this color works for me. Like, is this my color and I just never knew it and I've been wearing all the wrong colors my whole life? It's possible. Let me know what you think. I know you will. And we should probably move on to the next dress because like I'm like trying desperately to contain the situation and I don't wanna have to like censor this video and I don't wanna get trouble with YouTube. That's just not what I'm trying to do. All right, here we go. Dress number three. This is the Constantine burgundy dress. This one is $68. I forgot to say the price of the last one. That one was also $68. So like a very good deal in my opinion. This dress is really pretty. I got this one in a small, which was a mistake because I think this one is a little bit too roomy, but obviously I could go get it taken in. It's very, very simple. We've got a little bit of a slit up here in the front, nothing crazy. And it is more low cut, but I don't think it's like out of bounds. You know what I mean? Next to the last two dresses, it's kind of boring though. I mean, not to be high maintenance, but I mean, the last two, they had some stuff going on and this one is kind of just like straightforward and definitely reminds me of like, my older sister's homecoming dresses in high school. So late 90s formal dresses. But even though I do think it's a little boring next to the first two, I love this color. This color is definitely like my comfort zone. Right away when I started shopping, I was driven to like all burgundy wine color dresses. The length, it's pretty much the same situation that I've had with the other two dresses. It's a little on the short side, which is unfortunate, but overall, if you're a little shorter than me, this dress would be perfect for you. I mean, yes, this dress is very simple. It's very straightforward, but it feels very feminine. And dare I say for $68, it feels elegant. It doesn't feel cheap. I mean, this little slit right here, it does look like a little cheesy, but honestly, I'm not gonna judge it for that. It's $68. I feel like this is like a home run for $68. All right, dress. Number four, this one is called the Meteoric Rise Rose Rust Dress, something like that. It's $89 and again, a totally different color for me. I really, really like it. I feel like it's a, a rusty melon because it's much more orange than it is pink. I don't know how it's coming through on camera. It's a really, really pretty color. I don't know if it's really the color for me. I mean, right now I have fake tan on my skin like I likely will for the wedding. And I'm not really sure if I'm matching the dress a little bit too much with like the pink in my skin plus the fake tan. It's a very rusty rose kind of complexion. So I don't know if this is the dress for me, but it is really pretty. I love the back. I love the long straps with the like little bit of frill right here. It definitely like features the shoulders. It's not super busy on the front. This one is definitely much too short for me. I think shorter than all the other ones so far. I think this is just what we're gonna be dealing with with these dresses. We've still got a bunch of dresses so we could still strike gold. Do not lose hope. I'm not losing hope and you definitely shouldn't either. This is really pretty. Like if you're planning your wedding, I would definitely consider this for a bridesmaid's dress because the color is pretty. I feel like it'd be flattering on a lot of people. It's just the back can't get over the back. Oh, I didn't even talk about the buttons. Hello, buttons, these buttons right here. So difficult to button up. It's difficult, but totally doable. I mean, I just did it myself, but as you're wearing it, it's really tricky to actually button these up, but it's just such a pretty detail on an $89 dress. So nice. I love that. I love the buttons. It almost kills me when the dress is so amazing in the back and there's really not so much going on in the front. I mean, it would just end up like every picture you take, you'd have to like find an excuse to like pose with your back like this. And like, oh, oh, hello. I don't, I don't even have any excuses. I don't even know how I would do that. But like the back of this dress is so much better than the front. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with the front. I'm just saying, I mean, you see what I mean, y'all? I'm about to scream. This dress has pushed me to the limit and I need backup and I have no backup. No one is here in the house with me today. 
I probably could figure this dress out, but as you can see, it hasn't happened right now. What dress is this? What kind of evil, evil dress is this? It's called Strappy to be here. I got it in denim blue. It's kind of like a gray blue. It's a different kind of color for me. I'm honestly at my wit's end right now. I don't know if you can tell. It's $58. I got it in extra small and it is so pretty on the model. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I was trying to do something different, clearly, uh, but I can't get my arm through it. <laughs> Should I have unwoven the entire back string situation? Should I have, I mean, how are you supposed to do it back up? I mean, is this a partner dress? What are we doing here? <laughs> it is such a pretty dress. Again, it's super simple in the front. In the back, it's clearly not simple at all. Very complicated, very complex, very high maintenance. It's also really, really short. I don't even know why I'm like actually trying to like talk to you about this dress right now with my arm like strapped into it, half in, half out. Um, not feeling on the top of my game right now. Kind of sweating, kind of all scraped up by these little things. It's not that it's too tight. It's like, seriously, I've worked on this for a while. I am not trying to be funny right now. I really legitimately wrestled with this dress for like 10, 15 minutes. Seems like it would be cute. I don't know though. Okay, what is this? Dress number five? I don't even know anymore. I had to brush my hair out after that last dress. I was so, Upset and angry, but let's move on. This dress, it's burgundy, it's beautiful, it's a dress I can actually take seriously. Okay, what are you called? The Dream About You Burgundy Backless Maxi Dress, $84. I think it looks great. Very, very simple, but simple is elegant. We like that. The back is backless, but it's, you know, not super backless. Maybe on a shorter person, it would be more backless but I think this looks really, really pretty. Uh, the proportions aren't quite right for me. I think a shorter girl, the hips would be right around here, but this is where my waist is, so I'd have to get it tailored to actually fit me. But I think this is really pretty, and I think it's flattering on me. I like a high neck. Again, I love the color. It's kind of a no-brainer, but it is very, very, very simple. I like this one, but I'm not like in love with it. You know what I mean? It's just kind of, it's a good option, you know? All right, dress number seven is a little bit interesting. The last one, very elegant, very simple, minimalistic. This one, we're time traveling back to the 80s. I mean, does this not say 80s to you? You know, I had my reservations even when I saw it on the model. It's a lot. It is a like satiny green, what are we calling this? The greatest hits forest green satin off the shoulder maxi dress for $99, which means it's the second most expensive dress that I ordered and oh boy, it's a lot of dress. There's a lot going on down here under the dress. We've got like a little bit of this like tool netting kind of petticoat business. I don't know what you call that. We've got another uh, lining down here. So we've got a lot going on. There's definitely some volume and some fullness down here, which I like. This dress reminds me of this girl on Instagram. I've talked about her before on my vlog channel. I just love every single photo that she ever posts. And I feel like this is a dress that somehow she would make look expensive and elegant and gorgeous. And I just look like an 80s prom queen runner up. Like I didn't quite make it. There's just a lot going on here that isn't quite right. We've got these like elastic bands, like really thick bra straps almost, but I think you're supposed to wear them down here to keep the dress up. But the actual top of the dress doesn't stay up and you can see the little bra strap things. And then there's like a little faux belt here that isn't quite tight enough around the back and it kind of droops. What's happening there? I don't really know. Overall, I feel like I'm going to a piano recital when I was like eight years old. Not completely a bad thing. I kind of love this dress. I feel like you guys are probably seeing it and maybe liking it. I don't know, there's gotta be at least a few of you guys out there that will see what I saw in this dress, understand my hopes and dreams for this dress. It is really pretty. I really like it, but it's just, it's just not right in a whole bunch of ways. It is actually long enough 
wow, the one, the one that's actually truly authentically long enough. Of course it had to be this one. <laughs> yeah, I sadly, I don't think I'll be able to make this one work, even though it is like my emerald green Disney princess moment that I've always needed to have. Never knew I needed, but needed to have. Yeah, womp womp. I'm kind of sad about this one, can you tell? Oh, I wish it worked. <laughs> All right. Dress number eight, it's kind of like a bright navy blue. How much are you? $66, not bad. Again, it's a pretty simple, straightforward dress. Got some back detail, well, kind of detail. It's got like a crisscross strap kind of thing. A higher neckline, which I really like. I feel like it's got a little extra like side boob that I could probably do without for a wedding at least. Um, overall, it's really pretty. I like the color, but I'm not in love with the color. Kind of like a do nothing blue. Like, where are you? What is this? What do I call this? It's just blue. I could see myself wearing this, but it would have to be like in a pinch. And this is pretty and I could totally wear it. I think it's flattering. I feel like anyone could wear this dress, but it's just kind of there. I don't know what to do with it. Probably just not wear it, right? <laughs> we finally made it. Dress number nine. Why did I buy so many dresses? I know, I cannot ask you that. That is a question for me and me alone and I do not know the answer, but this is dress number nine. It's an off the shoulder burgundy dress. I believe it was a $94 and if it's all right, if it's okay, it's just like a kind of basic off the shoulder dress. You've seen a million of these dresses. Pretty simple, but also pretty. I mean, I like this dress. I feel like it's kind of elegant. It's understated. It's kind of grown up. It could definitely fit me a whole lot better in this region right here. Not to make it like skin tight or anything, but just to deal with like this extra situation back here, like not great, not super flattering, but from the front, it looks really, really nice. Obviously, it's a little short, aren't they all? I'm like so annoyed that almost all of these dresses were too short, but again, like I said, that's a situation that would most likely just apply to me and not most of you guys, if you guys are shopping for an occasion. I don't know, there's a little problem here and maybe it's just this dress, but the lining right here is kind of peeking through. Uh, so the slit is kind of going over my knee or even when it's not going over my knee, it's kind of turning out and you can see the inside lining of the dress, which is not great. Um, it kind of makes it look a little bit cheap but overall i feel like a little bit of tailoring could go a long way with this dress like it is really pretty it does make me feel very mm, like hi like almost like jessica rabbit it's not a jessica rabbit situation but it's kind of got the vibe is it the dress for me i don't think so but i do think it's a good option if you're looking for that and maybe it's just this dress that's doing the lining thing and maybe yours wouldn't if you ordered it i don't know but why am I still holding it like that? Anyway. All right, so I guess that's it. This is the last dress. I don't think I found the perfect dress for me, but I do think I tried on nine really good dresses or at least seven really good dresses. Honestly, I am still thinking back about that kind of like emerald green forest green 80s prom dress. I don't know why. I loved that dress. Like I want that dress, but done a little bit better. But the color, the volume, the amount of dress that was happening, I don't know why. It just spoke to me. I don't know why I'm a freak, but I am. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite? Where should I try on dresses from next? I do have a little time to shop and I'm always down to shop so let me know don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd love to have you back you can also hit the bell for notifications so you'll always know whenever i upload i also have a vlog channel you can find a whole lot more videos over there you can also find me on my social media it's leanne says everywhere and i love talking to you guys over there as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye everyone there's a what i'm what now uh fancy it's actually grant's brother's birthday whoa not birthday <laughs> this is so ridiculous oh bye everyone